Hey guys, so today we are going to be talking about our UV animal assignment that we're gonna get started. The first part of this assignment is you are going to find an animal that has long hair and you are going to find a good photograph just of the face and you are gonna place it on a Google Doc so that you can refer to it as you're drawing. You're going to need a piece of copy paper to do your rough draft. And this actual draft is going to be your final draft, so you wanna add more details to it. Um, I have some examples that I've already done. Here's a bear, also has to have long hair. Make sure that you do that. Here's another bear that I started, and I'm gonna do the llama with you all. You'll notice on this side of the paper, I'm drawing lots of details, and on this side, we're not doing any details. Because it has symmetry, we're gonna copy this side over here, so that way you don't have to try to draw the eye the same shape. You can always trace the other side. So, to start this assignment, go get a copy paper. Depending on what your animal is. So, my uh, llama has pretty big ears, so I chose to do it portrait style instead of landscape. So, you wanna pick how you want to do your paper so for the bear, because the bear had a big head, I did it landscape. And because of the ears on this one, I did it portrait style. So once you get your paper, you wanna fold it in half. Composition is really important. So you wanna be able to fill up the paper with your drawing. Don't draw small heads. I want the whole paper to be full of the head. We're only gonna focus on the head of the animal. Make sure you have your photograph pulled up on your Chromebook as you start to draw. The first part of this is you want to do just a general shape. So you're going to do, I call these sketchy lines because I'm just trying to get the shape of the animal and I didn't try it, draw it down enough. I wanna put it down further on the paper. If I were to criticize my other one, I think I would have made it a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna to try to do better on this one. So that's kind of where the head is. Then I'm gonna draw, draw the general shape of the ears. Okay, the ears. Uh, the llama has big ears. Even though I'm not gonna worry about this side, I'm just trying to get the shapes down. All right. So I have the ears about the size of the head. I'm going to try to get the nose down. It's not a very big nose. And then I'm going to start getting more details. So again, we're only worried about this side. For the nose, I just wanna make sure this side kinda of looks the same, so I'm kinda of drawing that side. I have my picture up, I'm looking at it constantly, making sure I'm getting all the details. Okay, the eye is pretty big. The picture that I have of my llama, it doesn't have a highlight in the eye, but it's always good to draw a highlight because it makes it more, look more realistic. So once I have like the general shapes of the nose, the mouth, then you can start adding hair. So last year I had a lot of students that drew hair like this. This is not how we do hair. We do hair more like triangles and like little wispies. That's how you do hair, not like this. If I see this, I'm taking lots of points off. So you have to pay attention to the direction of the hair on your photograph. For instance, he has my little llama, the hair's right here. 
are short, so I'm not gonna make them super long, but they go in this direction. And then right here, they kind of start coming down. And then here, they go that direction. So it looks really weird if you make the hairs go the wrong direction. So look at your photograph and make sure you're going the right ways with the hair. So with this project, you're not gonna draw a ton of hairs, just the edges. He's got a lot of hair right here. It's kind of like he's got like his own little hairdo. And these hairs are long, so I'm gonna draw them a lot longer. And then they start kind of coming down. He does have hair right here. You wanna draw a neck on your animal on his ears. They kind of go like this. And they're very long on the ear. So I'm gonna draw them like that. Okay, so once you get the drawing done, then you wanna sharpie your design and then we'll start doing transfers.